Saint Archibald of St. Teresa's Primary gained 502.9 marks on a spot at Queen's College. She told this newscast how she felt about her success at this year's examinations. I feel happy and excited. Did you expect to get this achievement? No. Jade also spoke about her academic performance in previous grades as well as the strategies she used to prepare for the examinations. Well, in grade 5, I always used to do really well in tests and in class. I always, my percentage would always be in the 90s. And I prepared by, in the morning when I wake up, I would study for two hours. Then I would go to school. Then I would go to lesson. And I, when I come back home at night, I would study. She also gave some advice to the students who will be sitting next year's examinations. Don't get distracted. Work hard and be determined to get whichever school you want. She also told this newscast how her parents helped her towards her achievements. My mother, she would always help me study, like social studies and science. She would always explain the topics to me and my father, he would always help me with mathematics. In addition to this, she thanked the persons who assisted her. I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I'd also like to thank my lesson teacher, Ms. Cameron, and my school teacher, Sir Garfield. She also noted that she will figure out her career path as she goes along. Okay, and what would you like to be when you grow up? I don't know yet. In time, I will. 11 yeah. year old Aaron Anamaya of Cropper Primary obtained 502.9 marks and a spot at the Queen's College. He aspires to be a lawyer just like his father. Aaron told this newscast how he feels about his achievement. It feels like really exciting, I'm happy, and I'm relieved that it's all over. Aaron also spoke of how he prepared for the examinations from the time he was in 5th grade. I would really study late into night or early morning. When I do it, so, since grade 5, I do a certain amount of work every day, like consistently. And for school, our teacher had extra lessons, so like 2 hours in the afternoon. And then at home I'd have Zoom, an hour of Zoom. And then during the weekends I'd have like two hour Zooms every day as well. He then noted one challenge he encountered during his schooling. Well, I'd have a problem with my handwriting. <laughs> Aaron also gave some advice to the students who will be sitting the examinations next year. What well, is that you need a balance between like your work and study. Instead of just like seven hours of work with no break, I think you get overwhelmed. So it's like you have to have a balance. He also told this newscast of how his parents contributed to his success. Oh well, yeah, my mom would help me study whenever she could, and in the night my dad would question me on different work that I'd read. So yeah, and my mom was a huge help ever since in nursery. She's been helping me. 11-year-old Anissa Siram of Cropper Primary obtained 502.9 marks and a spot at the Queen's College. She aspires to be a doctor. My teacher, she had extra lessons like we used to stay back up to four mm -hmm. and normally at home I studied a little bit. Anissa told this newscast about her preparations for this year's examinations. Um, I did pretty well in grade 4, grade 5. Well, grade 4, we had to stay home. Mm -hmm. Grade 5, yeah, good. So She also spoke about her academic performance in the previous grades. Like, usually second or sometimes first. But how much percentage? Like, 92% or 93 or... Anissa then spoke about her expectations prior to the release of the 2023 National Grade 6 assessment results. I didn't expect to get Queens, but I expected to be in the top 10 and I didn't expect to top the school. She also spoke of one challenge she encountered during her schooling being that of another top student competing with her in their academics. Yes, um, Aaron used to always 
be ahead of me and I would always try to beat him. Anissa mentioned how her parents assisted her on her journey towards success. They always assist me in anything I had, any homework assignment. They always helped and supported me. And Anissa then gave some advice to students who will be sitting the National Grade 6 examinations in 2024. Um, I think they should study and actually stay focused on the exam and do their best. <laughs> Lastly, Anissa thanked the persons who helped her do well in her examinations. Um, yes, I would like to thank my family, everyone at home. Um, the staff of Copper Primary, Miss Sharon, you are the best, and Miss Mary, I love you. And also my friends, because anytime at school I had a question and I didn't know the answer, they would always help me. Congratulations to these three students who excelled in the 2023 National Grade 6 assessment, and best wishes to them in their future endeavors. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Latani Shells.